do you want to start one of the most profitable businesses in Cameroon and of course in Africa? Do you want to join the Millionaire Club? Then watch on, because today we shall be talking about how to start and manage and successfully manage a car rental company in Cameroon. And in studio with me today is the manager of First Drive, one of the best car rental companies in Cameroon. And we shall be tapping into her experience for managing this kind of company. What she has to tell us today is massive. So if you're out there following me, just sit right where you are. Pick up your pen and paper, as I always say, start taking the notes because today's video is going to be a whole learning process. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and thanks for watching. You know what I do here right all the time, the rules are simple. I usually give out giveaways. If, you, if you're always watching me, if you're always following this channel, I give out something in every video. So today I've got two of these, as usual, right? The branded mugs. All what you need to do is simply to Drop down the letters that pop up here. A letter is going, a word is going to pop up every time. So watch the video to the end. Drop in the comment section below and stand a chance of going home with one of these. I'll be right back after the break. Don't move a muscle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome right back. And I hope you already subscribed, right? I'm right here on set with the manager of First Drive Services Cameroon. I already told you she is here with me. She is no other but Moni Mpa Madeleine. You're welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Rufo, for having me. I'm glad to be here. Right. Okay, Moni, um, your name is first of all Moni. So is it, <laughs> <laughs> does that mean everything about you is money? Oh, come on. Can't you see? <laughs> it's obvious I'm money personified. <laughs> right. I'm so happy to have you on the show. Thank and you. Today's session or today's episode, I really want this to be something that's re enriching, right? Mm -hmm. Because most of my viewers out there want to get started. We're in Africa. You all know that. But I know you are the manager of First Drive. Uh, I want to know more about you know, your company. Okay. First Drive Services is um, barely two years old in okay. Cameroon. I, we started, obviously, with just about... 10 cars and okay. then but today we have a fleet of over 75 cars 75 cars in the space of two years wow okay but let me tell you about first drive first drive is a vip taxi and a luxury car rental service right. meaning you need a car for a short trip for out of the city you need an airport pickup right. you need vehicles to pick up your kids from school or to pick you from work to your home right. you contact us and we provide the service to you so it's kind of premium service or you, you guys have all sorts, like you, you cater for every, every kind of customer? Yeah, we cater for every kind of customer. That's the best thing because definitely we have to cut off the niche. We need to know who our clients are and what kind of service they require. Yes, for yes. example, I said um, we have a, a package called Flash School, mm. meaning if you have a kid, from like a school run, picking mm. your kids from the school mm. to the house, you know, sometimes you wake up at... A little bit late and mm -hmm. then to, to to cut off the trouble mm -hmm. we provide that service we pick up your car your, your kids to school and from school to the home also we also have um the airport pickups like i talked about mm -hmm. earlier on meaning you, you you want us to pick you at the airport mm -hmm. to take you home or mm -hmm. you want to take you from the house to the airport so you don't miss your flight or whatever right we pick that we, we provide that service Good. As well, maybe you want to go to Limbe, you want, we cover the whole of Cameroon. The whole of Cameroon. Yes, yeah, so maybe you want to go anywhere, right. we can take you, can, you there. You just need to make a call. Yeah. Now, guys, I told you, I told you, right, I told you that this is one of the most profitable businesses in Cameroon. Um, they started with just six plates two years back and now at 75. So that just shows how it's been growing. Now, you've been managing this company, I've been managing this business. You have the expertise. And I just want you to tell us, right? Mm -hmm. um, the five steps or the most important things that someone who wants to start this kind of business should know. Okay. So how do you get started? Just now, as I always say, this is your time. This is the camera for you. So I say for you to start up this business, you need to have a plan, a business plan. That's the first thing. Because without a plan, you can't know. A plan helps you to know where you are and yeah. where you're going to. Yeah. So you have to put everything table down. Okay. In the plan, you have to analyze or be able to itemize who your niche is, who your customer is, who do you want to service? Are you going to service the general population? Are you going to service commercial or corporate clients? Who are your expected clients? 
So right. you have to have that down. Of course, you also have to have. But what? What? What's, no, I'm not cutting you short. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll need to follow up from time to sure. time. Sure. Um, based on that, you just said something that caught my attention. What? What? What's? What's the best? Like, what kind of client should someone starting target? Should it be the general public or corporate clients or, I mean, like the categories before you actually mm -hmm. expand? Okay, definitely. Everybody wants to work with corporations and the corporate client, of course. Yes. But as well, you can't, you have to start from somewhere. Mm. You can't just start getting those corporate clients because those corporate clients can also be individual clients. So it's an individual, probably I use you. You, 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 I render my service to you, mm -hmm. and from there you can recommend me to, to another an person. other person mm -hmm. who probably works in a corporation or a company, and the company then needs my service. Great. So, as well, it's also important with that in mind. It's also important for you to know how you will get your audience, your your expected um, client. Yeah. How do you intend to get them? Mm. How are you going to advertise? Is it word of mouth? Mm. Are you going to go on the media or the social media platforms? How do you get your clients? Because it's one thing to say, I need this kind of clients. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to know how you will get through get to them. them. Right. So, of course, we are in Africa and there is a lot of lobbying. Yeah, so, on. you should know how. <laughs> you should be able to open the doors. Yeah. And, and lobby for clients. Yes. Open the doors. You have to have um, your team that comes in with the team. You have to know what kind of thing your management team needs to have your commercial. People that are going to go out to publicize the word and who so, are so all of this is part of the first step. Sure, because like, part yeah, of having the business the conception, plan. Yeah, yeah, the conception plan. You have yeah. to have this in plan. So you have to put all of this down. Yes, guys. Sure. As I always say, first thing. I mean, from what she's saying, first thing you need a business plan. Of course, there is no way you're going to start any business without the business plan. And remember, we offer business plan writing for every African country, okay? So if you need a business plan in this business or in any, of, any other business, then you can contact us. I mean, you know I have to sell a bit more. You know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go. So that was, that was point number one, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, as well as what you said mm. concerning business plan, without the business plan being accurate, you mm. won't be able to get the appropriate finances to get Which your starts. business done. That okay. is, if you don't have the means you don't have the enough um, capital to start up the business because we are talking about cars and why will i want to leave a taxi on the road to use your service that means your price your service should be worth it top notch yes. i expect the vehicle to be clean i expect the state of the vehicle to be intact mm -hmm. i don't want to get into a car and i need a professional driver who should be courteous i don't want to get into a car and then the driver is playing music on high because hey i'm a client i'm a corporate client i have my specific needs so the reason why i should leave the taxi on the road to use my vip service taxi and which is a little bit higher than the expected price sure. is because i expect a a quality service delivery yes. so you also need to get good cars good cars in your plan Right. You need to know the kind of cars you're going to get. Right. Cars that are going to be suitable for the kind of road that you have in your country. Yeah. Since we are talking to the African um, audience, yeah. yes. Yeah. We need, you need to know the kind of cars that are um, suitable for the road. And of course, know how you're going to manage these cars for effective productivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to summarize. You know, we, 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 we've talked, you've, you've, you know, you've mentioned so many things. Yeah. First thing is you need a plan. Yeah. Second thing, you need to know the type of cars. The clients. The, you the need to know the clients. Clients, who is your what, targeted who is your clients, audience? How you yes. get the clients? Yes. The third thing was what again? You need to get your team. Your team. Okay, now the third clients. thing is the team. Yes. So you need to put your team together so mm -hmm. they can get clients. Yes. And and all of that. Then number four was the cars that you need. The cars that you need. Yeah. You need to have the right cars mm -hmm. for, for the, the right, right kind of road. Right, right kind of road. And then you, as well with the cars and the type of road we have in Africa, mm. you need to have. The technical know-how, meaning there should be an equip, a team that would work on the cars, maybe the um, mechanical, um, the mechanics, to maintain the car, yeah, to cars. maintain the cars. Now, coming to that, mm -hmm. when, when you've been running this business for a while now, is it better to insource your maintenance team or to outsource it? When I say insource, I mean, like, do you hire, is it better to hire people to maintain your cars? or to you know give it to maybe a third party okay since we are talking about a startup it is important for you to start 
I have a little bit of knowledge of everything that's happening in the business. Mm -hmm. I know definitely I'm not a technician or a mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. but I know the normal layman foundation. I have the basics yes. of, yes, of course. if a car is wrong, what do you do? Yeah. So as the manager or as a startup, you need to have an idea of everything that is happening. You need to be able to commercialize, to be a great commercial person. Personally, you need to know what it takes to you should put yourself in a client's position yes. meaning as a client if i want to get into a car the state of the car how do i want it to look like so you have to be in the client's mind and talking of outsourcing if i'm going to say you're starting up a business and then you're outsourcing it will take a lot of funds for you right. so it's important for you to probably hire mechanics that you're going to put on a payroll that is going to manage your car for you all right mm -hmm. okay now, that takes me to the next question, which um, I think we already started answering that somehow. Okay. Which is about uh, managing the company. Let's say I have my company and mm -hmm. I'm doing, I'm, you know, into car rental as well. Mm -hmm. what, what, are the, what are the strategies that you think, successful strategies that you think can be applied to make it work? Strategies that can be applied to make it work. <laughs> there are a whole lot of strategies, but like I said, it's... It, it actually starts with knowing who your client is. because so the it's all about Yeah. Because if I know my client, I'll know what his needs are. The need of a, a, a school for the school run that I talked about and the need of a corporate client is different. So I need to know how to manage different clients, mm -hmm. first of all. So it's mm -hmm. managerial skill. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to manage individual clients. That's know your customer mm -hmm. and know what they want and know how to service them. NYNC. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to know your customer and of course when i know my customer i should have a relationship with my customer right probably after um, a ride if i have um, probably a corporate client using my service for the first time mm -hmm. after the ride i should be able to call give get a feedback from them to know how their first ride was the experience that they had yes if it was good and if there is nothing something they want that was missing you ameliorate you you augmentate it you change or you so it should be flexible so knowing your customer is the first step and it's very difficult because mm -hmm. working in a team there could be the diff, the the um problem of one person who wants to shine the other so the other, it's yeah. important to work as a team mm -hmm. in your in your company right. one person may bring the client and you may not have the managerial skill to manage that client or the right. client may have a better rapport with somebody else so that person that is in the position that has a good rapport should continue. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's not your client because there may be a tussle of power. So in managing um, a company like this, the first thing is knowing your customer and knowing their need, mm -hmm. which is maybe a little bit tactical. Okay. The second thing as well is managing your cars because your cars is what brings the money in. Mm -hmm. So your cars need to be... You cannot, I cannot be in a, in a, like a client, I cannot have a client be in a car and then there could be a breakdown. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. there is a breakdown, what do I do? I need to send a client, I need to apologize, you know, send a vehicle immediately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, to the client because that's the service he's paying for. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right. VIP and the, the drivers, you know, there's a lot of things. Of right. course, the money as well, the money right. as well is important. In fact, there are just a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I'm here in the studio with money. Pia, right? Mpa. Mpa, 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 Mpa. And she's the manager at uh, First Drive Services. First Drive Services is a premium taxi, uh, not a car rental business yeah. here in Douala, Cameroon, and they are all over Cameroon, right? Yeah. So if you want mm -hmm. to, you know, if you just want to have a ride with First Drive, in the name First, they're the first. So <laughs> just contact the numbers on the screen and they are going to send your car anywhere you are. Okay, so if you come to Cameroon for business, whatever, holidays, if you are here, your corporate body, hey, make sure you contact the numbers on the screen. Now we're going to continue with, um, with, uh, with, you know, I'm going to continue on my questions mm -hmm. because I just want anybody watching us right now to really know about this business. Mm -hmm. My aim is to add value. My aim is to, is to inspire Africa, educate Africa. So that people can, you know, people can also create this kind of businesses and make money to us well, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the, 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 the question I want to ask now, I think this is the question I ask almost everybody who comes here. You've been doing this business for a very long time. There are probably challenges that um, anybody who wants to start will face. 
So let's help our audience. If you want mm -hmm. to get started, which are the top three challenges <laughs> that they should know and how to, you know, manage these challenges? Mm -hmm. The first one is definitely finances mm -hmm. because it's not like it's a small business. How much do you need to start the kind of business? You need a car. Your car is the first. So if how I much have one is a car, car? Can I start? Yeah, you can start up with a car. Just one. Just one. Okay, that's there's need to progress to increase. So, so this is my car that I have as I just paint it well. I just you know redo <laughs> it. I can start with it. Of course, you can start up with it, and you don't necessarily need a space, an office space. Right. That's it. You can be virtual. You can have a phone, or a WhatsApp number, yeah, or an driver. email. Yeah, you can be the driver. All right. You can be the driver as well. Right. You get you, you have your car, you can drive, you have your license. You probably maybe you need training in defensive driving. Mm -hmm. And then you have your car, you can start up. Wow. You put up yeah, you put up notifications everywhere to say you have this vehicle and anybody who wants to rent it, even without a chauffeur, if you yeah, are ready well, to do that, yeah, yeah you can you risk. can rent yeah, yeah, you can risk that and give your car out without a chauffeur. And of course you need and a of collateral. Course you can also have uh, corporate clients, you know, for their runs. Yeah. They can call you up. Sure, but with one car that would be difficult. Because they, they, they'll call and then probably you're somewhere else. Or, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. you can start off with one car. For rental. Yeah, for rentals. Maybe your your a neighbor, somebody you know, a friend needs a vehicle. You need a vehicle to go for a presentation. You don't have a car. I have a car. You come meet me. I give you my car. I become your chauffeur. I drive you there. You pay me. Because, of course, they say um, uh, first impression matters. You mm -hmm. have a business mm -hmm. or you're going for a business deal. Mm -hmm. You need to look a certain way for them to do business with you. Yeah. That's, I think that's what it is. Yeah. So I have the car. You don't have a car. You pay me on an hour. I drive you there. I become your chauffeur. I come down. I open the car. The people you are expecting are looking down at like, oh, this is somebody, this is you know, exactly. <laughs> That's what we do. Right. Or you may have a car. You actually may have a car and then it breaks down, maybe on the middle of the road. You need my service. So, so this I, is a business. Like, yeah, this is a business that you cannot start. You must you must have at least one car. So, at least a car. So, so the capital of starting this kind of business is minimum. That that's what that amount of car, yeah. yes, a <laughs> so good car. So it's, not, so it's not a business that you can start with no capital. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> because the motivational speakers are this. They say those ten businesses you can start with no, no, no capital. No, 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 no capital. Possible. No, you need your your car. Yeah, your car is the the main resource that you need. Great. All right. Okay. And that's then if one. if you have if you don't have the car, then that's where the financing comes in. You need the finances to get that car. Yes. So how do you get the car? Because right. getting sourcing for finances is a, is a big deal in Africa. You need to get your business plan, a proper business plan that would that would sell. We take it to a bank, a credible bank, or you can even partner with some other companies mm -hmm. that you know to say, oh, I have one car, you have one car. Why don't you become a partner? And then we do this together. Great. Mm -hmm. okay. So partnership is a thing that is lacking in many businesses in Africa because nobody wants to take the risk of saying, um, let me put you, you. Yeah. yeah, I prefer to take all the, cap the, the profits because that's what they are looking at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I prefer to take up the profits rather than share it with you. Mm -hmm. But in collaborations, no there's, together. yeah, but in collaboration, there's a lot of profit in collaboration because where I'm lacking, you come in. Guys, I think this is a very important message that I have to stress on. You know, I think that's what's making us in Africa not really progressing from small businesses to very big businesses because we don't want to work in partnership. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that's important. Now, that was on that was the first challenge. Is that the only one? I mean, I wanted three. Right? Okay, yeah, that's the basic <laughs> challenge, though. Yeah, that's okay, the, the second challenge now, if you're starting up, how are you going to get the client? Mm -hmm. Because hey, you are putting in if you are. Um, a startup, you don't have a car, you, you, you outsource the funds and then you get the funds, you get your cars. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you get your clients? You need to figure that out. You need out. to figure that out from the inception, not when so you're So what's the there. best way of having clients? Of course, ask. you need to put up word of mouth. Mm -hmm. It's basically the best. Mm -hmm. Because if I use a service and I'm comfortable with it, it, I would refer it to somebody else. So word of mouth, because if you're, you're, you're a startup, Putting in a lot of money on advertisement is a big deal. Right. You may not have that amount of money to put in. Yeah. yeah. And so you should be also very patient because I remember time. when we started, <laughs> man. <laughs> it takes time to have one clear, eh? No, my God. I remember when we started, that was in 2019, where we went toward the whole of Douala looking for clients. You know, everybody was a commercial. So I was telling my friend, everybody was on social media everywhere. 
first month, second month, third month. We're looking at the phone and it was not ringing. Nobody was calling. Like, what's the problem? Is this phone working or something? <laughs> Is something wrong with, with the SIM card, you know? Takes time. Oh my God. I say this. You have no clue. There are times we just stay in the office and then we try to call the number to see if it actually rings. Maybe people are calling and it's not ringing or something, <laughs> you know? And then, but when we got our first service, and then it just that was how, you, yeah, that's how you picked All right, it. so that was point number two, you know, you have to figure out how to get clients. And what's the last? How to keep the client. <laughs> Everything because you clients, get yeah. the client, you need yeah. to keep the client to be a satisfied client. Mm -hmm. The client has to be satisfied with the service. Mm -hmm. For example, my my level of um, cleanliness or impeccability may be different from yours. Mm -hmm. I may get into your car. My car is very clean to my perspective. But for you, maybe just a little dust will irrit irritate you. Do you understand? understand? And then shuffling from when I have to service this client, this client needs the car by 10 a.m. I have to be there before 10 a.m. Right. So management of the traffic, we know how, how the traffic is. Management challenge. is a huge challenge. So on point, knowing how to get the client and then keeping the client to be fiddle so that even if there is a problem, he will be able to communicate the message and not take it as a big deal and say, I'm leaving. Right. Because every client is important to us. Wow. Guys, I don't know if you're enjoying the show the way I am because I am really enjoying this and getting a lot of insight from Moni Pa Magdalene, right? Yeah. I was, I was to yeah, we are here in the studio just having fun, but we've come to the end of the first section or the first slot of the show, and we shall be going to the next one, which is Discover Africa, where we're going to find out how much she knows about her continent, Africa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And I hope you guys have been taking notes of the letters coming up. It's popping up somewhere here. And just watch the show to the end so that you go home with something as well, okay? Thank you so much. I'll be right back after the break. Don't move a muscle. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. I'm here with Monipa, the manager of First Drive Services. She's here and we've been talking about car rental business. But you know what I do, right? I don't just talk only business business. We also have to discover the continent. The idea of this slot is so that if you're watching us for the first time, probably you've never heard anything about Africa. So keep watching because you're going to learn a lot about our, con our continent, Africa. And I also want to find out how much she knows. Are you ready? Help me. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is I'm going to ask you 10 questions, multiple choice questions. This is a question bank. You just pick and I'll ask the question. So the first question you pick. Ah, you're the one to pick it. <laughs> 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 All right. So question number one, let's find out. And if you're out there, also try answering the questions. Let's also know if you know Africa, right? Now, question number one reads. Two South African provinces take their names from rivers. Hmm. Which are they? A. Alice and Butterworth. B. East London and Graf Rennet. C. Graham Hanstown and King William's Town. And D. Orange Free State and Transvaal. I think it's D. Orange Free State and Transvaal. Have you been to South Africa before? No, I haven't. Why did you choose the right answer? Uh, oh. <laughs> the magic is working. Right. That was the right answer. Um, I myself, I think I'm, I'm learning this for the first time as well. Mm. So question number two. Lucky charm. <laughs> Lucky charm there. Yeah. All right. Question number two reads, with which West African country is Pagalu linked? Pagalu. With which West African country is Pagalu linked? A, Gabon, B, Cameroon, C, Equatorial Guinea, and D, DRC. Gabon. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we, her answer is Gabon, but that was wrong. The right uh, answer is Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. Question number three, let's go. Your people are the ones on the top. Eh? Oh, I can go under. All right. Question number three reads The coast of which country is called the Gold Coast? A, Ghana. Ghana. That was correct. <laughs> You've been to Ghana, right? Yes, I have. Ah, everybody will know that. Now, the, the, the options were A, Ghana, C, Cameroon, South Africa, Madagascar. But who would choose Madagascar? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ghana is the correct answer. Let me go underneath now. 
All right, question works. number four, question number four, question number four. This country was once called Dahomey. A, Uganda, B, Botswana, C, Benin, and D, Namibia. Benin. And that was the correct answer. Uh, you know, so you go tear paper as well. <laughs> so right answers, one more answer, question number five. Question number five reads, which country is completely landlocked by South Africa? A, Swaziland. Lesotho is the right answer. <laughs> Men. Okay, I know that one. I didn't say you were against sensei. <laughs> what? So we have four right answers, one correct, uh, one wrong answer. Question number six. What is the area of land in Egypt which is below sea level? A. Cashment area. B. Upper Volta. D. Damping area. C. Damping area. And D. Katara depression. Damping area. <laughs> and that was wrong. The answer is D. Katara depression. Hmm. Katara something. depression. I've learned yeah. something. Two wrong answers. Where? Four right. Question number seven. Where? At least you have four right, right? Question number seven reads, which mountain range stretches across Algeria and Morocco? Which mountain range stretches across Algeria and Morocco? A, Makalu Mountain. B, Mount mm. Kanchenzonga. D, Mount Everest. C, sorry, C, Mount Everest and D, Atlas Mountain. Which mountain range stretches across Algeria and Morocco? It can't be Everest. It can't be Atlas. So maybe the two. Let me know the. <laughs> A. Makalu Mountain. Makalu. B. Mount Kanjengzonga. C. Mount Everest and Z. Atlas Mountain. Maybe I should go with the Atlas. Your God is leading you to the right place. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And that was the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, said no, she can't go to Atlas. But now, all right, question number eight. Let's go. Of which country is Bangui the capital? Oh God, everybody knows this one. Do they? Bangui. Yeah. A. Cameroon. <laughs> B. Niger. C. Togo. D. Central African Republic. Bangui. <laughs> you never know heard of Bangui. <laughs> Mm. I've never heard <laughs> Bangui Central African Republic Let me get the options again please A. Cameroon B. Niger C. Togo D. Central African Republic Central African Republic I, I mean everybody was supposed to know that right? Are they? I, I don't know I, you didn't, you don't, you don't, I didn't know yeah, So that's a guess I mean in Central Africa we have I mean the central part of Africa yeah. You've got Central African Republic, Gabon, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Guinea. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Bangui is the capital of Central Africa. I mean, we have, you are, you are That's in transport. So yeah. There are a lot of trucks that live here because it's, land, it's landlocked. Mm -hmm. to, you know, to they, yeah, they, they import from dollar, dollar port to Bangui. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I just learned that. Though. Right. <laughs> so we have um, six, no, how many? Two, four. Six correct answers. Two wrong. Question number Two nine. Two more. Okay. Question number nine reads, which is the largest of the French West African countries in area? A, Cameroon, B, Mali, C, Chad, and D, Malawi. Should be Chad. And that was wrong. The right answer is Mali. The right of Mali and fire. Ah. <laughs> Where? All right. Three wrong, six right. Question number that's... 10. Let's see if she... I should get seven, please. Question number 10 reads, Where is Swahili generally spoken? A, South. in East Africa. B, South Africa. C, Central Africa. And D, Northern Africa. I think that's Southern Africa. Swahili. Swahili. East Africa. Swahili. Yes, uh, East Africa. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's correct. East <laughs> Africa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and that was uh, seven <laughs> over ten. I mean, sincerely, sincerely, you you know you know Africa. You you've traveled to how many African countries? About six. Six African countries. Mm -hmm. And which are these countries? Cameroon, Nigeria, then Ghana, Ivory Coast, and Togo. Wow. I mean, that shows somebody who has gone around a little, right? 
So yeah. she had seven over ten. She knows the but there's still much to be learned. Yeah, there's still a lot yeah. more. So guys, if you've been watching us, what is your score? Drop in the comment section below. Be very honest, eh? How many did you have right and how many did you have wrong? <laughs> so we've come to the end of the second slot. Don't move a muscle. We'll be right back after. <laughs>
Yeah. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Put it up for money pa. Yay. Look at the look at the signature. <laughs> See how it's sweet. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Um it was a very it was uh you know um entertaining at the same time. We learned a lot. I learned a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people out there also learned a lot. I hope to get you more on the show. And I also hope that first drive services, you know, gets the best. So guys, if you want anything, as I said, anything to do with car rent out, contact the numbers on the screen. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we've come to the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. This, at this point, you know what I always do? I'll ask you to subscribe to the Business in Africa channel and join the community. Why not? If you've been following me, make sure you drop me your comments so that I know which kind of topics you want me to cover next on this show, which kind of experts you want me to bring and what you want to hear. Right now, we also have, or we take in um, people from all over Africa. Today, we started our first live Zoom call or Zoom interview. So if you're anywhere in Africa, you can contact us and be our guest as well. You can also showcase your business at any time, right? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.